castle or the slave yard right now. People, and also we have some around if you want to get We know the reason why we are here. Um, we have an interior guy. And <coughs> my brother over here is called Bwedi. Bwedi? Bwedi. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. He is going to take us around to see and uh, uh, explain everything to us. Uh, if you have any question, please, yes, you have to ask any question that he, he bothers you. Then at the end of it, he has time, he will take time to speak. He doesn't speak like um, someone who is running away. He takes his time to speak. So you will definitely understand whatever he says. I'll hand you over to him. I'm always around. I'll be with you. And as I've said, just try and control your emotions when we get inside there. And then uh, everything will be done nicely. Experience everything that you think is possible for you to do. Yes. At the end of it, we'll give you some time to take pictures. We'll give you some time to take pictures. Good pictures and other things will be done. Thank you so much. And then uh, this is Africa, Africa for the Africans. Uh, you know, been coming every six every months, God. every six months. So, God willing, this is the smaller group that we had this time around. So we, we have appreciate. It. Okay, my brothers and sisters, I officially welcome you all to Cape Coast Sleep Castle. My name again is Bwedi Tony. I'm your tour guide. This is not a castle. This is a sleep dungeon. Now, let me take you right there. Let me give you a very brief introduction before we begin today's tour. Please come with me. Yeah, Bondina, you mean my. Okay. 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 All right, before we start the tour, I'd like to give a very brief introduction. Now, there are three slave castles in West Africa, and the three slave castles are located here in Ghana. These are Elmina Slave Castle, Osu Slave Castle, and Cape Coast Slave Castle. Elmina Slave Castle was built by the Portuguese in 1482. That is the oldest and the biggest castle. Osu Slave Castle is located in Accra. It was established by the Danish in 1661. And this is Cape Coast Slave Castle Dungeon, built by the English slavers in 1665. That wise, Cape Coast Slave Castle is the youngest slave castle. But this slave castle is 356 years old. My wonderful families, long before the Europeans came to West Africa, the Arabs were the first intruders to come to this part of Africa. They came across the Sahara Desert. The Arabs came for gold, ivory, spices, and some Africans to the Middle East. However, the Arabs castrated all the African men they took to the Middle East because they didn't want black people to reproduce there. Around that time, the Arabs were also trading with the Europeans. They were giving the Europeans the gold they stole from the Africans. However, it got to a point where the Europeans got very envious and very manipulative. They wanted to know where the Arabs got the gold from. And from their research, the gold was from West Africa. The first Europeans to come to West Africa were the Portuguese. The Portuguese, however, got to a place called Cape Verde. They were still navigating and eventually got to Ghana in 1471. It was around 1482 that the Portuguese built El Minaslip Castle. Technically, El Minaslip Castle was not built for the transatlantic slave trade. That is why when you go there, you'll realize that the dungeons there are yeah, different no. than the dungeons here. The dungeons here yeah. are real slave dungeons, and they were built so for the purposes of the transatlantic slave trade. My wonderful Indeed. families. And when these Europeans came, from the beginning, they themselves were practicing what you call violent aggression. They were kidnapping the Africans along the coast of West Africa. But because they realized that the Africans were fighting back, it became unsafe for them uh, let's 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 get to the shade. Let's get to the shady area. The sun is too much. Uh, let's stand on this side, please. Yeah. Let's be here. Let me give you a very brief. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to be on the topic of 
the reason why many of our brothers and sisters claim that Africans sold their own people to the Europeans. We didn't sell anybody. And what happened 400 years ago, or nearly 500 years ago, was not a trade. It was a massacre, genocide, manipulation, and transportation of African people. When these Europeans arrived, our ancestors didn't have the kind of geopolitical boundaries that we have today. We didn't have the present day Ghana, Mali, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana. No. They had what you call the African empires, kingdoms, chiefdoms, and states. Now, these different jurisdictions in Africa, we're not speaking the same languages. Neither were they using the same constitution in governing the different jurisdictions. Due to that, there was no common unity. And long before the Europeans came here, our ancestors were practicing what you call domestic servitude. There's a difference between domestic servitude and slavery. We were not keeping our own people in places like dungeons. Neither were we taking them outside the continent. But when the Europeans arrived, they did capitalize on the systems in Africa and supplied two destructive weapons, which were gun and gunpowder. That is what from food the trouble was in West Africa and this lasted nearly 500 years. Many of the Africans who were brought here as enslaved African men and women were not only from Ghana. Some of them were kidnapped or captured all the way from Mali, Burkina Faso, they walked for many weeks before they got here. Here in Cape Coast Slave Castle, today I'm going to take you back to 400 years. What our ancestors had to endure in order to get to the Americas. Now, this is a very, very, very brief introduction. Any questions before we start at all, please? Could you walk? Okay. okay, please come with me. All right. I Uh, let's get in the shade, please. You take your time, you walk slowly, you're not rushing at all, please. If you have any questions, let me know. This history is nearly 400 years old, here. Globally, nearly 500 years. Now, before what we are all standing is the male slip dungeon. Now, the floor that leads to the male slip dungeon is very slippery. You take your time, you walk slowly. But what is very shocking is that on top of the male slip dungeon, <coughs> was a church. This was a church. The name of the church is Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. So when 1,000 African men were in a male dungeon, struggling to survive, dying, the English slavers also built a church on top of them. Let's kindly move this side, please. There's a group coming. Thank you. All right, so the floor that leads to the male dungeon is very slippery. You take your time, you walk slowly. We are not rushing at all. Please come with me. Just look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. Look This 
slightly smooth for you, taking time. Very well, walking steps. Taking time. These doors there, there's another room behind that. You're going to come this way. So let's move to this part. Okay, um, this place is the male step dungeon. And the male step dungeon comprises of five cells, of five chambers. First one, the second cell, we are in the third cell. Okay. 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 Okay.